Hello my Linen Things family and friends. Oh, welcome back to the channel guys. We are here today finally, finally to get our reviews in y'all. The reviews are in. So today I'm going to be sharing my honest opinion on items and products that I have purchased lately from the Dollar Tree. You know, I like to bring you guys those reviews um, when I get a chance. I try to do them within recent time of when I bought the thing or the product because, hey, if it's still at Dollar Tree, I want you to be able to find it if you um, want to try it, pick it up, you know, and all those things. So the way that I kind of gauge it, I'll either give it a thumbs up or a thumb down. But either way, I'm going to let you know what I like, dislike, or what's in the middle for me okay guys so we're gonna settle on in i got a nice little y'all know when the basket come out um is review time but i have a nice uh, little amount of items so if you want to grab yourself a drink and just get comfortable please go ahead and do so um i feel like this particular one today is i feel like a pamper me review although there are a couple of other things sprinkled in this review um I have a lot of uh, beauty and care items that I have picked up lately from the Dollar Tree that I have just, oh my gosh, well, we'll find out, right? So let's jump right into these reviews, guys. So I'm just going to start pulling out the basket, not in any order. Um, first thing I am pulling out, it's already empty, mm -hmm, is the Hey Humans. Now, I know I have not seen any more Hey Humans, um, even when I was on the hunt for these I found them only, I want to say, in maybe two locations. So the very first location is near work. Y'all, when I found them, I grabbed up like five or six because I was like, yes. So I think I grabbed up three, two or three of the apple matcha. This is the apple matcha. And I grabbed up the banana because, oh my goodness, everybody was raving about the banana one. Oh my gosh. And they were not lying, y'all. The banana one is our fave. I like the apple matcha oh i like apple and i like matcha so i grabbed this one up i like this one but i love the banana but i will give them both a thumbs up so if you still can find hey humans which you probably can't because they just zoomed y'all they, they just got gone in my stores we did not have them long at all um but if you can if you just happen to be one of those stores that got it really late because i know all DTs are not created equal. I know sometimes it's like months before we may see an item. Heck, something has happened where I saw an item a year later. So you never know. But these were amazing, amazing with the Hey Human. So, of course, we're giving Hey Human thumbs up, y'all. Our first thumbs up. Next are the bio blenders, guys, which are 100% biodegradable. So we had the big one for the body. And then we had the smaller one. They are hot pink in color. If you don't remember what they look like, these are their packages. And as you can see, <laughs> yes, they are have been opened. I am using these currently. They are both a thumbs up. So I, I really do feel like pampered when I use them, they lather up great. You put on, you know, put in it, whatever, um, body wash that you're using, maybe soap, whatever one you're using. Oh my goodness. It, it does make you feel like you're in a spa. The scrubbing action is really soft. So it's not abrasive. It's a nice calm and you get the little scrubs. I love it. These are amazing by eco tools or eco tools. These are really, really nice. So it does say gentle exfoliation, and it does that. It, it does that exactly. And it says to remove oil and dirt. And this one just says for a daily clean, but they both are gentle. And I like that. Um, I know to exfoliate, you need that abrasion a little bit, but I don't like it when it's too hard. So these were perfect for me. Perfect. So those are a thumbs up, y'all. Next item these are little poofs. I left it in the plastic. Um, this is one of those sponges, which is, um, helps clean the face. And it has like this little soft sponge. If you can see the little spiky spikes on that, this is another one that I absolutely love. Um, I had the charcoal cleanser, which we're going to be reviewing in a minute. And I use this and oh my goodness, you know, I just kind of did my whole face. This thing is so squishy and soft. Um, you can tell I've been using it. Looks like this is coming up a little bit, like the little, uh, part here wants to kind of come up, but I'm still using this one as well. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. So if you see these little purple puffs, get that y'all. 
This is another thing that cleans like a gentle um, scrub on the face. It, it works so, so nicely. So I use this with the Lumen Charcoal Face Wash. Oh my goodness, what a great duo. Yes, yes, yes on that. So y'all already know, Lumen is a name brand. This is a yes. This is a thumbs up, thumbs up on that. And then the Lumen Face Wash. So when I put that on, first I used it just using my hands, wet my face, kind of rubbed it in. It's so smooth, you know? I really, really liked it. And then I kind of wanted to go in and use it a scrub. So that's where I went in with this one, using little spikies, scrubbed all over my face and neck. Y'all, spa moments, okay? Spa moments. When I say this is like a self-care, I'm loving all of these products for self-care, but the Choco Face Wash, Definite thumbs up. And then with the face wash, you got to follow up with moisturizer, right? So I did start using the Lumen Face Moisturizer right after the wash. Yes, 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 y'all. Again, it's name brand. It's Lumen. There's nothing bad to say about this. I absolutely love it. Um, I do have a lot of uh, face products. I think I'm almost, almost done with the red. Y'all know the little red bottles, Dollar Tree head? Yes. I'm really, really low on the moisturizer. I've done really good to try to use all of that up. But y'all know I love some charcoal. So I went on ahead and started using this one. And this, it's nice and creamy, y'all. So you put it on. It's not sticky. It's nice and creamy. And it does moisturize your face. Um, and I'm still feeling it. Like I put this on in the morning. It takes me through the day. It's a yes. The face moisturizer by Lumen. Definite thumbs up. Next with the self care, some more self care. Y'all the one and only products. Oh my goodness. So I know there were more that dropped in our stores. I only came across the hair mask and then the cream to serum, um, styler. So I use this, as you can see, I rebraided my hair. So for my natural hair, when I would part apart and I before I do a braid, my natural hair, I use some a little bit, like just a little bit of it on my fingers, pulled it and conditioned kind of like my hair with it to kind of help soothe my smooth my hair out because my hair is um it's not a 4C curly, it's not that curly, it's probably one step under that, but when you're doing braids and you kind of want your hair to blend in with the braid like I did here, um, this helped so much. And it smells so good, y'all. This smells so good. Um, so it did. It says uh, shine, smoothness, and fizz control. This was perfect for this hairstyle when I redid my braids. Like, I don't see my hair um, coming out of the braids. And this was amazing. This is amazing. And I want to pick up another one. I love the chicness of it. This is like a little pump. And it does come out... Like they say, it comes out as a cream, but when you kind of work it into the hair, like it does turn into a serum. Lovely, y'all. Lovely. If you, and you don't have to use this with braids. You can style your hair anyway. I just happen to want to use it to kind of smooth my hair out to be able to blend it into the braids. This was amazing, y'all. Definite, definite thumbs up. And I've heard great things about the other products, but I've only found two and I've only used one. I have not used the hair mask just yet that goes to this, but this cream to style, oh baby, this is a good one. Grab that up if you see that. Those one and onlys, oh my gosh, so good. Um, another item that is like self-care, um, Vaseline, Cocoa Glow. So none of us are new to this, but the Dollar Tree I feel like they have it for a while, then they won't have it, then I'll have it. So um, this is Vaseline Intensive Care uh, product. It's a name brand. Of course, it works. It is my favorite, though. I like it because it's not too oily. It's not too greasy. Um, and it is a, it's a cream. But I keep this in my purse. So this is one of those must-haves in your purse because I'll go to you know Dollar Tree like I'm doing a walkthrough for you guys. And it's like, oh, my goodness, my hand's looking a little dry. Boom. I pull this out the bag, moisturize those hands. Then I can go ahead and do the video. Um, so I love stuff like this. Very purse um, friendly. Yes. Thumbs up on the Coco Glow. And it definitely does leave a glow, y'all. That is a must. The next item, which is another like self-care, I did pick up maybe four different varieties of the Badoo soaps absolutely in love right now i am still on this bar which is the turmeric and um honey i believe Ugh. 
it smells natural though. It does have a nat natural smell. Um, because I have not gotten into the other scents and bars, um, I've only been using this one and it lasts a long time. Like I'm still using the very first bar I purchased. And like I said, I bought maybe three different ones, three or four, but I absolutely love it. Um, this one is, it says, uh, intense moisture and firming. And I have to agree. It is very like it suds up so, so well. So I'm going to keep using it. I absolutely love it. No irritation or anything like that. These are the bomb y'all. Yes, they are. So I'm glad I grabbed that up. Another thumbs up y'all. Another thumbs up. The next one is y'all the queen V. Oh my goodness. Another self-care item that I am head over heels in love with y'all. So I had never even heard of this. And I saw a couple of you people, um, some of my subbies, um, like writing in the comment section, like, Oh my God, I love when Dollar Tree had the liquid, had this in like a liquid form. Y'all, I never knew Dollar Tree even had this. This was new to me. I had never heard of it. Um, when I was reading it, I was like, what? You know, it says microbiome friendly and it is pH balanced. I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. You know, 125, what can you lose? Right. Oh, and I, oh my gosh, after the first use, y'all, I went back and, back and bought more because I felt like for like the fraction of the cost of like a, a Vagisil type of like the liquids and stuff like that, this stuff works amazing. It works so good and you will have it a long time because it is a bar form. So I felt like I would have this longer than I would if I purchased like the bottles of the liquids. It, it's like the comparison, it's it's amazing. Same results. Absolutely love this stuff. So like I said, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Your girl went and found more. I do have bars of that. I had to grab more of that. Your girl is set. Next, another item, y'all. Y'all know how in love I am with the love struck, y'all. I absolutely loved the scents. Um, you guys know I've told you the story behind, you know, the love struck or love spell, which is the original by Victoria's Secret and why I like it so much. But it actually is just a dead on ringer for the love spell. It really is. It's, it's amazing how close they got it. So, I let you guys know about the body wash and I let you know about the scrub, I believe in my last review. Um, if I didn't love them both. Um, but I finally found the lotion. And so the lotion itself, it is thicker than I thought it would be. Look at that. It's not runny. It's not watery. Um, sometimes you guys know these lotions by, um, well, it's actually by spa. It's not, um, Oh, it's not a, a green briar product. Actually, it says by rejoice international. So, but sometimes we find these things at DT. They're a little watery. No, no. Mm. The aroma is wafting right now. Y'all. Oh my gosh. It is so nice. I'm not saying it's the thickness or the creaminess of a bath and body work lotion, but for it to be a buck 25, it gets the job done. I absolutely love it. So happy that I found this. So like I have the whole set again. I really wish it came in a body butter too, y'all. I don't know why I want this to have a body butter to it, but the lotion is doing its thing. Thumbs up for that. Next in our basket, y'all. Y'all, I raved about this headband, I think in one of my walkthroughs. Y'all, I love this thing. So I wore this, wait. This thing is just so darn cute. Look at that, y'all. Oh, <laughs> like I just love this headband. It's something that's just so pretty about it. Um, It just looks fancy, fancy, right, to me. So I purchased this in black and I purchased it in this cream. It's definitely a thumbs up, y'all. But you guys know I love Dollar Tree headbands. Oh, and when I wore this, it did not bother me. So sometimes with headbands, you got to worry about these ends. Now, somebody said to pad them. Um, and you definitely can find something um, to put a little extra cushion there so it's not bothering behind your neck. Um, I have personally not found something that I could put. So I don't I don't know what I would put to add right here. If you guys have an idea, let me know. But um, this one does not bother me at all. It was very comfortable to wear. Absolutely love that. Next, y'all, I know, didn't I tell you, it's a lot of self-care. <laughs> it's a lot. The juice bar, 
Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, when I say I'm in love with this, the Juice Bar Lip Glosses, these are little bottles of magic, y'all. I love it. I'm wearing it right now. I have worn this every day. That's why when I saw it again at DT, I picked up another one. So for one, the grape, I don't know, the grape roll on, like the, the lip gloss is nostalgic for me. It's like I remember it from... I don't childhood or something like that. It's just like, like that, that lip gloss thing. Only thing missing is the little sweet, you know, touch. You know, it's not a, a sweet taste to it, but the grape scent, so fruity. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this has got to be one of the faves of this year. Love it. Love these. So these are by the Juice Bar. I have not popped open the Kiwi. I don't know if I bought Kiwi. I think I bought Orange. And I know I bought another one, but I'm not sure. It might be Kiwi, but I have only tried the grape. And when I saw grape again, I picked up the grape because that's how much I like this. So yes on these, y'all. And I also purchased the LA Colors. This is by LA Colors as well. But I also purchased by LA Colors the roll-on. And it was a lemon lime. I don't know what purse I put it in, y'all. I, I try to put like a lip gloss or a lip balm in each bag or purse or jacket pocket and I don't know where I have put it that one very moisturizing so if you run into the LA colors roll-ons which are also giving me that 80s feel that old school feel um those work really really nice as well the one that I had like I said was lemon lime I cannot remember the other uh scents that it came in but the lemon lime was really bright really fresh and it does have like this moisturizing feel to it. It is not sticky. It's not gummy. It is also a great roll on. But like I said, I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> it's in one of my bags. Okay, guys, we're going to keep rolling on with the reviews. Next. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is a yes. I got water in here right now. So I started taking this to work because I want to remind myself to drink water i get to work and i know i like i'll drink some tea or i'll drink coffee but i want to remind myself to drink water so i love this thing look at this i love that you have this little top right here or this little it's kind of like a what you can hold it with or or hand carry it by y'all the little handle love that and then i love that this actually clips down really good and it's like no spill Yes, y'all. So these were a buck twenty-five by Zach at the Dollar Tree. If you see these, mm -hmm, go ahead and give it a try for a dollar twenty-five. Absolutely love this. Like I say, I I take it with me to work, fill it up with water every day. It's amazing. Thumbs up on those. Let's see, y'all. Do we have a thing? One more like self-care item. Um, it was like I say, a lot of self-care stuff, y'all. A lot was the fingernail clipper that gives you that that you can see that rounded little cut now i'm kind of in the middle on this because i felt like am i doing this wrong so the first time yeah and i, I think i did do it wrong the first time i put it on my nail i kind of put my nail under it like that like slide my nail in and i don't think that was correct i think your hand has to just be straight up and then you would go down on it and clip. Either way, though, that I used it, I wasn't too happy. I felt like it cut off a little too much. Um, my nails don't grow as long as my daughter. Like, my oldest daughter nails grow really long. This might work for her. So when I trim her nails for her, I'll check it out again. Um, and if I feel better about it, I'll let you know in an upcoming video. But personally, I was like, Ugh, I'm not that happy with this. <laughs> um, I'm glad I picked it up, though, because, like I say, my daughter's nails grow pretty long and she does like me to kind of trim them down but for me my nails don't grow long enough for this to kind of help me it, it was not a big help to me um, but it may be for her next I wanted to review the clips y'all see what it's on right <laughs> one of my favorite snacks from the DT the coconut rolls but I kept forgetting to show you guys how I was using the Clorox clothes clips they could be for clothes or anything. I've been using them on chips or my snacks. And they are A1, y'all. So I think you get either 10 or 12 clips in a pack if you can still find these. This is what I use mine for. And yes, yes, yes. Those are a thumbs up. Absolutely love the Clorox uh, little clips. But I made them into chip clips, snack clips. Yes. I love how we can use items for more than one thing, right? My next item that I purchased were the ultra washable 
markers and it says long lasting so me and my daughter did have a day where we just sat down and colored y'all and i wanted to use these and give these a try we both love them um the only thing is because it is such a fine tip what we were coloring i don't see my coloring book but it was like the the elvis coloring book i found at what our happy place dollar tree um had so much surface to cover i felt like i might need a bigger i will pull out the brown i didn't even look and i'm matching myself but it is a very fine tip we did like it but because of what we were coloring i felt like i needed a more i guess bigger tip maybe but they do work they are nice and i'm gonna go ahead and give them a thumbs up um i kind of want to run into the crayons because i want to give the crayons they're called the unbreakable crayons and so i'm guessing they're twist up same company by Bic. Um, I want to run into them so I can give those a try, y'all. Who I told y'all, I got a lot of stuff. I'm so sorry. If you're still here, thank you, thank you. Um, just a couple more items to go, y'all. The dish mat. So, I found a different way to use this. This is going to sound funny, I know. Um, but, as I told you, I do my own hair. So, when I style my hair, when you do this type of hairstyle, you have to dip the ends of the hair in hot water to kind of seal it in right and then you you know have to pat dry the hair well at the moment that i was doing it i felt like the towel i was using was not soaking up enough water i went and grabbed this and i put the braids in it kind of wrapped it around and then i pulled down this dried or helped me to dry my hair. So I will be using this, weird enough, as something to help me to dry when I have like braids like this, any braids that I have to dip in hot water, if you're a hairstylist or if you go get your hair done and you get braids, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, it, yeah, oh my God, like so this one will be used for hair purposes. Here we go again, repurposing an item from DT for a whole nother reason. And that was just out of necessity, I just, I looked over at it and I was like, hmm, that might help me dry my hair faster than it actually did. So yes, that's a thumbs up for that. Love that. And so I will be just keeping this one with my hair care items. And that's how I'm going to use that further in the future. Next, um, I'm not reviewing this bag, but I needed the bag to review the next item. So you guys know that we had these cute, cute wristlets to come into the dt they're dropping everywhere this one has uh like a fabric feel i do have another one that is more of a plastic feel um these bags i love they're good and th actually this one is it has a nice texture it's kind of thicker than what i'm used to with the dollar tree i have bought these before and i love them um they're they're nice for like a quick run to the store and things like that but like i said wasn't really reviewing that but i wanted to show you guys another way to use the wristlet. So it's good for a purse or um, belt bag or something like that. And I'm actually going to be adding this to a belt bag that I use for work. But I was noticing that if you have a jacket that is kind of hard to zip, maybe you can use this as a zip pull, right? Oh, <laughs> I love that. And this is cute on here too, because it's black and white. But I'm thinking of putting it on a jacket, um, like I said, because sometimes people um, may have hard, like my daughter sometimes has a hard time zipping up certain jackets, um, and I may have to help her. Y'all, if you can find these and add these to jackets, it will add a little fashion to it, and it will be a great way to help someone who may be having a problem with a pull zip. Little kids have problems sometimes. This may be a little big for a kid's jacket, but I'm just saying, what? That is a great way to use these as well. I'm here for it. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. And then next, finally, something I tasted. <laughs> um, I did try the Tres Leche Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So like Cinnamon Toast Crunch is not my fave. I like it. I don't love it. Um, and I don't like Tres Leche Cake, but I thought I would like this. I actually did not, but this does taste just like Tres leche cake. I thought I would get more of a cinnamon taste. I actually get more of a milk taste. I'm going to, I don't know. I didn't like it. <laughs> Y'all, I was not too 
happy with it. I don't know if my daughter tried it, but I tried it and I was like, mm -mm. but I do think maybe, maybe I'll try it in a snack type of way. Um, I did eat it in a bowl with milk. Um, like I say, I wasn't that crazy about it, but I'm not crazy about cinnamon toast crunch from the very beginning, but I do like cinnamon. So I was like, Ooh, you know, I saw the name. I thought I'd love it, but it's a, it's a thumbs down for me. It's just my preference. If you like all the different cinnamon toast crunch, go ahead. If you find it, honey, it is nothing like finding name brand cereal family size for a buck 25. You better grab it up. But like I say, I think we're going to probably use this as more of a snacking thing. I will not be eating that <laughs> in milk. And last but definitely not least, the Skinny Pop, I went on here and grabbed. I was so excited to find it. You do taste the cheddar and the jalapeno, but I feel like I need a little bit more cheddar. So this one is in the middle for me. It's in the middle. I like it. I love Skinny Pop. Just their regular, I love it. Um, and I feel like it has enough flavor. But this, I feel like I need a little bit more cheddar kick. I taste the jalapeno, but that cheddar need to kick in just a little bit more. So we're going to put this down in the kind of in the middle. All right, guys, that is all of my reviews. Y'all, we got through it. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what is some items that, if any, in this whole haul or all of these items that I have purchased and used, have you used any? What are your views on it? Um, is there something that you're going to be on the hunt for? And I pray you find it. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, guys, I have a quick, well, maybe two things I'm going to be recording back to back. I owe you guys a read with me, so I'm going to get that right after this. But I also have one like that little taste test I was telling you guys about with the Girl Scout cookies and the Dollar Tree cookies. So I'm going to make that its own video because you already been here uh, long enough for this one. Thanks guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Okay. Stay tuned.